All right. Uh, so in this video, uh, we will learn how to count the number of uppercase letters and lowercase letters and digits in a string. Now to solve this problem, uh, I'm going to write uh, three functions which will calculate the uppercase, lowercase, and the number of digits. All right. So uh, because the count or the frequency is uh, of type int, therefore all of these methods will return an integer type. Right. Now. Uh, the function which or uh, the method which is responsible for counting the number of uppercase would be named count uppercase and this function will take in a string as input string str all right now we'll have another function which would count the number of lowercase letters so i'm going to name it count lower and this will take in a string as well same goes for digits, so I'm going to name it count digits. And this will take in a string as well and it will return the number of digits present in that string. Alright, now what is the algorithm for counting uh, the number of uppercase, lowercase, or digits uh, or digits in a string? Now the algorithm is pretty generic. So uh, firstly, we need to have a variable in which we are going to store the count. Let's name that variable count, right? And to it, to it, I'm going to store zero, all right? And uh, let's say we have a string uh, that's uh, named str, and this will contain the input from the user. Now, I need to check, uh, I need to access each and every character present in the string, and I need to check whether it satisfies a particular condition or not. Therefore, we'll need a loop, which will run from zero to the length of the string minus one, which is the uh, valid index range for a string. And then for each of the character present in the string, so uh, ch equal to, let's say, the character we extract from the string, such as str.carat i. Now, we need to check whether this character is in uppercase or in, is in lowercase or is, is a digit. So uh, we would have a condition. Generally, we would have a condition. And if this condition is true, then we will increment the value of count. So count equal to count plus one. Now the condition would change depending on what uh, condition would change depending on what we want to count. So for example, in count upper, where we want to count the number of uppercase letters, we would uh, have a condition which would test whether ch is an uppercase letter or not. In the method count lower, the condition would be such which would test whether ch is in lowercase or not. And in count digits, the condition would be such which would check if ch is a digit or not, right? So the basic algorithm is the same, just the condition differs based on our use case, all right? So I would suggest you uh, to pause the video and try this out for yourself. The algorithm for this problem has already been written uh, in this slide. So pause this video right now and give it a shot. See if you can solve it for yourself. All right, so I hope you did try it out for yourself. And now for the solution of this problem. All right, now the uh, question number for this is question number three. So I'm going to name this class as train three. Just for my convenience, uh, you could name the class any something else as well. So uh, at the very beginning, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to import the scanner class to us click in the inputs. I'm going to name my class string3. Alright. Now let's first write the uh, methods that I discussed before. So in uh, count upper, this would take in a string, str. So what does this do? This function returns the number of uppercase uh, letters that are present in the string str. So let's put a comment. Uh, returns the number of uppercase letters uh, present in str. All right, so let's count. Let's uh, write our algorithm. So first we are going to need to require a count variable which will be initialized with zero. And then we will need a loop which would run from uh, zero to str.length minus one. So it's better 
that you store the length somewhere so as to avoid recalculation of length each and every time the test condition is evaluated. So str dot length because this is a costly operation. And we would run from 0 to length minus 1. Therefore, I've written less than length. And then we'll implement the value of i. Now let us extract the character. So to extract the character, we use the uh, method carat. So str dot carat i. Now we need to check, oh sorry, we need to check whether if or uh, whether ch is uppercase letter or not. Well, if you could write character dot is uppercase, character dot is uppercase ch, and uh, you could increment the value of count, that is one of the possible way. Well, I prefer to write my own condition. I don't prefer to rely on uh, uh, library inbuilt uh, functions because uh, I feel that uh, it's a little too complex to remember. Well, you cannot, uh, maybe you meant upper, oh, sorry, <laughs> single B, double B, all right? So instead of this, you could write that, but instead of that, I prefer writing this. C is greater than or equal to capital A. And C H less than or equal to capital Z. So uh, this uh, writing this requires you to uh, memorize the name of the function. Well, if you are given the name of the function in a code snippet, you would be able to quickly understand what the name means because the name from the name it's quite evident that it is used to check whether the letter is in uppercase or not. But you may forget it while uh, you are writing a program. Therefore, I feel this is the safest way to do it. Well, you may feel different, you could use this if you want. That's not an issue. So return count. Now, uh, likewise, we'll have another function which would be used to calculate the number of lowercase letters. So let's uh, copy this. There's a number of uh, lowercase letters, the number of lowercase letters present in STR, and this is going to be int count lower, uh, sorry, string str. Now, same drill for this function, everything would remain the same except for this condition. So let's see, let's not copy uh, it straight away. So I'm going to need a variable called count, which will be initialized with zero. Then we will need to calculate the length of the string. And after we calculate the length of the string, we're going to run a for loop, uh, which would uh, run from zero to length minus one. And uh, we would extract each character at the index position i. So cat ch equals str dot cat at i. Now we need to test if this character is a lowercase letter. So if it's a lowercase letter, then it would uh, lie between small a to small z. You could use the method uh, character dot is uh, lowercase, but I prefer using this condition. Now, uh, if it is, if the current character is a lowercase letter, then I'm going to increment the value of count and the very end, I'm going to return the value of count. That's it. So you see, everything is the same except for the condition. So this is what changes. Now, uh, for the last method, I'm going to copy this entire function and I'm going to make changes as necessary. to return the number of digits present in str. Count digits. And then we we'll test whether it's a digit or not. And that's it. Finished. Now let's move on to our main method. Now in the main method, uh, we will take a string as input and then call each of these functions to get the number of letters, so the number of uh, number of uppercase letters, number of lowercase letters, and the number of digits. All right. So first we need to create an object of the scanner class. Use scanner system in. Then I'll create an object of this class as well as we need to call these methods. Alright, so let's create an object of this class as well. Now let's move on to taking input. System dot out dot print. Uh, enter a sentence, let's say, enter a sentence. Now, to take a string input, we would need to take help of the next line method because our input may contain spaces. Now, uh, 
we need to call and display uh, the number of uppercase letters and number of lowercase and digits. You can store it in the variable, but I'm not going to do that. I'm simply uh, going to output this text, number of uppercase characters, and display the appropriate result. So, system dot out dot telling number of uppercase uh, like uh, like characters and uppercase characters number of uppercase characters plus obj dot now uppercase letters account uh, uh, using the uh, count upper function this particular function counts the number of uppercase letters and to it I'm going to send this string that I've taken as a input, that's str. Done. Let's copy this. Enter, enter, number of lowercase letters. So I'm going to count, uh, call the count the lower function. Yeah, all right. Count lower and count the number of digits. And count, call the count digits function. Right, let's compile. Well, no syntax errors. Let's run this code. All right, so what do I mean? Okay. All right, so uh, the sentence appeal type out is this common wealth, uh, common wealth games 2010. Number of characters are three, the number of lowercase characters are 14, and the number of digits are four. So that's it. So we have solved our problem, all right? So uh, if you haven't understood the algorithm for this, uh, please go through this video a couple of times. You will get it. And I'm using a function so as to promote code reusability and so that you can understand uh, how we break up a big problem into uh, some smaller problems that can be dealt with functions, all right? So uh, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.